Hey guys, welcome. Tony Porter, Tabletop Baseball Digest. And we're replaying the 73 season with Fall Classic Baseball, and it's Tom Terrific. This is his second start. Got beat up pretty badly in his first start, although he was in his eight column, which is lights out. But uh, things did not, uh, the dice did not go in his uh, favor. And um, it's going to be Bob Gibson in his B column. And the Mets will have, let's take a quick peek at who is, it's Harrelson and Mian short, uh, Mian at second, uh, Rusty in right field, Cleon Jones in left, Fregosi is at third base, Childs is in center, Duffy is the catcher, and Tom Terrific is on the mound. For the Cardinals, it's Brock in left, Sizemore at second, Melendez, I think he's in center, Torrey is at third. Simmons the catcher, Reitz is a third, Torres a first, Jose Cruz I believe is in center, and Bernie Carbo, where is he? Hmm. He's playing, I just don't know. Let's see, Melendez is an outfielder, I got three outfielders. Cruz, okay. So they're out there, we'll see where they are. Cruz is in center, Brock is in left, Carbo is in right. Torres a first, Reitz a third. Size one second. Shortstop is. I think you pronounce his name. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it's Ray Bussey and then Bob Gibson. Let's start it off. Buddy Harrelson. Play ball. And let's do it. Let's roll some dice. A 35 Harrelson. It's a blank. You go to the pitcher, and it's an out. Kind of an out. It's a fly ball to right. Under it is Carbo. One away. Felix Mian is next. 1973 Mets. This is a 53. This is a range play with a 12. The range is going to go to the second baseman Sizemore. Let's see Sizemore's range. Sizemore's range is a 14. So he makes a diving. Stop, gets back up, and throws out Mian. 4-3. John Milner steps in the box, left-handed hitter. So far, bang 333, one home run, nine at bats. And that's a 22, that's ball four. So he trots down to first base, takes his lead. Gibson looks over at him. Stop is at the plate, lefty hitter. Stop batting 273 in 11 at bats. Here's the pitch, and that's a 14. That's a bouncer to the first baseman who will step on the bag. So Torrey makes the third out, or steps on the bag and uh, records the third out for the Cardinals. And here comes Lou Brock. Lou Brock had a good season, 297. Stole. Only stolen 70 bases in 90 attempts. Tom Seaver. Pitch, 21. That's a strikeout. Swing and a miss. Goes down swinging. Ted Sizemore with a 45. And that'll be strike three. And here's Melendez. Louis, uh, no, it's Cruz. I thought it was Melendez batting third. Where is Cruz? Cruz is in here somewhere. All right, so then it's Cruz and not Melendez. Let me look uh, how this lineup changed. Okay. Yeah. So Melendez is not playing. This is the last lineup from the day before when Kuzman six hit the Cardinals. So it is Cruz, Seaver. Wines and deals, and a 65, that's always trouble. Again, Seaver doesn't give up a lot of home runs. One to six, not too bad, but that's a 20. So that's going to be ripped to the opposite field and right to the glove of Wayne Garrett, positioned perfectly, so it's an L5. And that retires the side at the top of the second. Here comes Cleon Jones, right-handed hitter. Pitch, 53, that's going to be a range play. And this time it's to the second baseman again. 
But on this one, there's a possibility of a throwing error, a single plus a throwing error. Uh, but it's not a single. How would you play this? So if it's not a single, he makes the play. Um, So second baseman Sizemore is a 13. Hold on here. All right. Sizemore is a 13. So he's a 14. Size and we rolled 13. So he does get to the ball. Now um, he gets to the ball. There's a potential for an error. So we're going to roll for an error on. Size more. He's a five, so here's the d20, and it's 17, so there's no error. So it's a four three. Wayne Garrett is up. Where is Garrett? So I got these lineups. I didn't get all the right play totally. All the right players. Let's look for. I printed these out. Yeah. I was gonna buy the set, but uh, I have I pay for um, ink, and I pay you know, and I already had the cards from Amazon, um, the perforated cards. So it's gonna be. Let me see, Garrett, uh, Garrett Channel. Okay, there's no Fergosi. It's Garrett instead of Fergosi. All right, here's a pitch from Gibson. Oh, 66, and that, oh, just missed the home run. <laughs> That's off the wall. So he gets a hold of one, drives it deep, and off the wall, and digging for second is Garrett, and he's in there easily with one out, one out double for Wayne Garrett. Gets a hold of that Bob Gibson fastball. And uh, Rich Childs. Here's the pitch. Let's see what he does. 42, and that'll be a pop-up. That's in front of the plate. Catcher is there. Simmons puts it away. Two away. Garrett takes his lead off second. Duffy Dyer steps into the box. And here's the pitch from Gibson. And that's a 25 against a lefty. That would be a single. Otherwise, it's lifted to center. And Cruz gets there to put it away. Bottom of the second. Joe Torre leads off. And a 33. That's going to be line base hit to left. Played on a hop by Jones. Torre is on. He's an A average runner. Simmons. Simmons is an A hit and run guy, but we're not doing that with Tory. And it's 66 with a three. So that's going to be a drive down the line into the corner stop. Plays it off the wall. And um, Tory can risk with nobody out. He's going to stop at third. They're going to hold him up at third base. And we have second and third here against Seaver. So Seaver just is not having great luck so far in his two starts. So uh, there's that 66. So here's, we're going to play back. We're going to, mm, yeah, we're going to play back. We want to prevent a big inning. Second and third here. Um, we may have to give up a couple of runs. We'll see what happens. Uh, Kenny Reitz, let's see if we can get a couple of strikeouts. And a 45, and that's an out. A ground ball to short. Second and third, the infield back will probably allow, yep, it's going to allow the runner. We're on second will hold. So that's 6-3 RBI on a ground out. But runner on second will hold. And Bernie Carbo. one nothing. Cardinals. Pitch to Carbo. And that's a 36, which will translate into an out. That's lifted to center. Childs coming over. He's under it. Staying at second is Simmons and it's Ray Boosie pitch from Seaver and that is a 41 that is line to left and Cleon Jones is there that retires the side so the cards pick up a run could have been much much worse and Tom Seaver leads off the top of the third with a 21 strike three he goes down on strikes that brings up Buddy Harrelson So, but the arrow's some pretty good shortstop. He's a 13 above average. Average arm, which is good enough and uh, doesn't commit a lot of errors. Had only five stolen bases in six attempts. Batted 260. 
and that's a 65 and that's grounded to short for the second out of the inning and here's Felix Mian two out nobody on a 56 will be a line out to short so it's ripped but right at Boosie and that retires the side bottom of the third Gibson 14 strike three Seaver blows a fastball by Gibson for the first out. Here's Lou Brock. Lou Brock with an 11. 1 to 7 is a single. Otherwise, it's a walk and a stolen base. Let's see what happens on the stolen base. We're going to have to roll again because we already used that number. And Oh, he would have been out there. That's a C safe. He is a 16, so he's safe. There he goes. Throw down from Dyer and not in time. Brock singles and steals second. What a surprise. Here's Ted Sizemore. And a 23 will be a... He's a righty, so it's hit to third. Garrett looks Brock back to second. Fires the first. For out number two. And, oh, why did he move up? Stay there. Do not move up. Grounder, five, three. Hold. And here comes Jose Cruz. Pitch from Seaver, a 24. And Seaver will get... Ooh, Seaver will get out of it with a... Ground ball to the first baseman who Milner who steps on the bag to retire the side. All right, so we got a pretty good game going here. We're in top of the fourth, one nothing Cardinals. Here is Bob Gibson. Gibson, um, one point one WHIP with twelve and ten record, only twenty five starts, so he must have been injured to have two hundred innings pitched. And back then he would normally have three hundred innings pitched, so he missed about a third of the season, I would say. And it's a 35, which will be a fly ball. Left field, Brock. One down. Here's Rusty. Legrand Orange with a 41. That's ball four. He trots down to, f to first with a, a base on balls. And he's at first. Cleon Jones. Strike three. Two outs. And it's Wayne Garrett. Stop takes his lead. Gibson gets the sign from Simmons. And that is got him on the curveball. So see, uh, Gibson is amassing a bunch of strikeouts. Let's see what we got here. Um, three strikeouts for Gibson and three strikeouts for Seaver. And these are guys that don't strike out very often. Remember that. Here's Joe Torrey with a 24. And that will be a fly ball to right. Stop. Gets it. Simmons now with a 64, and he strikes out. That's the fourth strikeout receiver. And Kenny Reeds, right-handed hitter, with a 54. That's a 54 charge. That's usually, yeah, it's a it's a pop up to short for a rain out, but I don't play those. Pop six, and we go to top of the fifth. One nothing. Cardinals. Rich Childs leading off. Bob Gibson with a 61. And got him. Heads back to the bench with the bat on his shoulders. Fourth strikeout for Gibson here is Duffy Dyer with a 54. Let's see what this says. Single to right and then a possible error on the right fielder. Carbo. Carbo is a six and he will make an error so it's a single. Bobbles the ball and going to second is Dyer on that. Bobble single and an error on nine. So the Mets have the tying run at second base with one out. Tom Terrific is up. Tom Terrific batting 161. Not a great hitter, but he's going to swing away. And, ooh, a 15 is a strikeout. Gibson blows a fastball by him. And here is Harrelson with two out and the tying run at second base. Let's see what he can do here in the top of the fifth inning. The Mets trail by one. And it's a 22, which will be a base on balls. So, 3 2 pitches outside, and now we got two Mets on base, and here's Felix Mion. Felix Mion bat 290. Actually hit three home runs. Not a big, he's a single, he was a, just a, a singles hitter. 23 doubles, four triples, three home runs, 37 RBIs, in, you know, 700 plate appearances, 153 games. Only very uh, sure-handed with two, a little bit above average on the range and, and a decent arm. Here's the pitch. 
from Gibson. Oh, 36 is not going to do it, and that's going to be lifted to center. Cruz moves over, squeezes it for out number three. So the Mets leave a couple of guys on base, and we go to the bottom of the fifth Bernie Carbo. Seaver's ready, gets the sign, winds and deals, and it's a 53 with a 13. That may be a, a range hit to shortstop. No, Harrelson dives for it, gets back up, throw to first, in time, 6-3. Yeah, Harrison is a 13, and we rolled a 13. Let me double check that. He is a 13. Those are the guys you want to memorize. You want to memorize their uh, ranges. Because then you can play like uh, Mian is an 11, Harrison's a 13, Garrett's an 11, and uh, Milner at first is not very good. He's a 7. Crankle's a little bit better than him at, at a 10. All right, so here's Busey, or Bussy. Pitch from Seaver, that's an 11. That will be a line out to left to end the inning. We go to the top of the sixth with John. Oh no, it's two outs and Gibson. My fault. And a 15 will be strike three. Seaver picks up his fifth strikeout. Here's John Milner. He's a lefty hitter. Milner batting 300. And a 63 will be a strikeout for the first out of the inning. Number six for Gibson, I believe. Here's Rusty Stop, 23, and that will be lifted to right. On the run is Carbo, and Carbo tracks it down for out number two. And here's Cleon Jones with a 52. Now that's an error check with an 18, probably too high against the right fielder, and it is. Carbo makes the catch, and we go to the bottom of the sixth. Lou Brock, lefty hitter against Seaver, and that's going to be a 65, which is a minus 5, becomes a 113. That's grounded to first, and it's Milner. Makes the play. Ted Sizemore with a 31. That's grounded up the middle and through in the center field. Hit number 3 allowed by Seaver, and Sizemore is fast. Here's Jose Cruz. Pitch with a 16. Oh, that's grounded to Mian. Flips to Harrelson. The throw to first in time. 4 6 3. The twin killing. Top of the seventh. Garrett. Wayne Garrett. How's with Garrett? Let's see. We got uh, Garrett 1 for 2. Childs 0 for 2. And Dyer 1 for 2. The Mets I'm noticing early on are kind of. Mixing and matching their center fielders. Uh, they had uh, Willie Mays for a couple of games, and now they have Childs for a couple of games. Um, the Mets actually had six, nine center fielders in um, 1973. Center fielders who played the most games were Don Hahn, Willie Mays, Ted Martinez, Jim Gosger, Cleon Jones. Then you had Schneck, Childs, and Theodore with less than 10 games there. All right, let's keep it moving. 51, that's an error check with a 10. It's going to be on the shortstop. Bussy, and he's 20, so he will make an error. It'll be a one, a one base error on the shortstop, E6. So Garrett is on. Duffy Dyer now. The pitch. And that's a 41, ball four. Perfect. So that puts runners on first and second. That looks like Gibson can go the whole game, so can Seaver. So we're not even looking in that direction in 1973. So Seaver's going to bunt. We're going to roll these two, and it's a good bunt. Right in front of the plate, catcher throws the first. Both runners advance, and that puts the tying run at third base with only one out. So that worked out well. And uh, here's Buddy Housen. Infield is going to be in now, right? It's top of the seventh. So infield is in. And here's the pitch from Gibson. And that's a 14. That's going to be an 11 to the second base with the infield in. Do, do, do. i got to look at the book for that one. Let me check real quick. What does it say? Second and third infield in. Oh, runners advance on this. There is no code for infield in on this particular one. So only on 11, the runners will advance. 
So the game, the Mets tie up the ball game. Ball is hit to Sizemore's left, and Garrett was moving on contact. He scores. Charles goes to third. Oh wait, what just happened? Hold on a second. Seaver, wait a second. Garrett, Childs. Uh, error by Garrett. Wait a second. I got some, uh, some, something happened here. Hold on a second. All right. Garrett reaches and then a walk to Child. No, Childs cannot walk on that. All right, so we're going to have to replay this. That doesn't happen very often, but we're going to have to replay at least the child's at bat. So let's back up because it was a 41. All right. So Garrett, a single and an error, correct? Oh, no, it was just an error. Okay, and now it's child's. And we rolled a 41. Child is horrible. Um, okay, one, one, two, three. I bunt with him. Uh, four, five, six. I just let the 41 roll and see what happens. Okay, so I, I let the 41 roll, see what happens. And let's roll. It was, and I remember it was a 41, so we'll roll this and see what kind of out it is. It is a fly out to center field. Okay. Yeah, I should have definitely bunted with him. All right, so here's Duffy Dyer now. And that's a 13, which will be a ground to the second. Sizemore goes to Bussy and the throw to first. 4 6 3 double play. Oh well. oh, well. It was exciting there for a minute, but I screwed up with the batting order. That doesn't happen very often. I think first time in a long time. All right, um, Tory's up. Bottom of the seventh with a 43, and that'll be... Uh, Fly ball to right. Stab over near the line. Makes the catch. One down. Simmons with a snake eyes. And that'll be a base on balls. So Simmons walks. And here's Kenny Reitz. Pitch from Seaver. 43 of 14. That'll be a fielder's choice. Me on to Harrelson. Let me double check if... It, uh, no, it's not going to be actually... The runner on for, yeah, it is going to double play if this, if the, if Mian is, is a strong arm and is not. So it's a 4-6. Yeah, it's a 4-6 double play. Uh, 4-6 field is choice. And Kenny Reitz is on. With two out. Bernie Carbo comes to the plate. And the pitch. And that's a 43. That'll be a fly ball. A drive to left, right center field, and on the run is Childs, and he catches up to it. So we go to the top of the eighth. Leading off is Seaver. Ooh, this is a tough one. Tough one, tough one, tough one. Let's see how do you do complete games, Seaver. Seaver had 18 complete games, but half his games were complete games. Half his starts. We're complete games. We need a pinch hitter here. So we're going to pull Seaver. And uh, we're going to bring up a lefty. It's going to be Eddie Cranepool. Cranepool is going to step in the box against Gibson. Pitch, it's a 15, and that will be bounced to second base. Sizemore over to first for the first out. All right, now it's Buddy Harrelson with a 21, and that will be popped up. He's batting lefty, so it's popped up. Lefty, that's third baseman. Reeds waits for it. And that will that be fair or foul? That's a fair ball in fair territory, a pop of five. 
two away, and here's Felix Mion. Pitch from Gibson, 62, and that is a little number in front of the plate. Pouncing on it is Simmons. Accurate throw to first, and that retires the side. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Only five hits in this game, two errors on the St. Louis Cardinal side. And we're going to bring in a pitcher, 58 for McGraw, but he's our closer, so we're going to go Parker with 29. Hennigan. We're going to go with Hennigan here. Oh, wait. Yep. We're going to go with Hennigan. Hopefully, he can get us out of the inning. Get all the players with this game. That's what I really like about it. Just got to track them down because there's a lot of cards. Let's see. Hennigan. Oh, Phil Hennigan. Phil Hennigan, terrible. Did not have a good season, but did pitch in 30 games. We'll see what happens here. We got a roll for him. He's a right hander, and he will be a an A pitcher, which is good for us because we need that. He needs that because he does not have a great card. And uh, Hennigan, let's see if he can get a three outs. So that's all we need is three outs. Here's Bussy. Pitch. Oh, that doesn't. Oh my God, that's lined. If it stays fair, it's a home run, and that ball is gone. Two nothing Cardinals. Yikes. Gibson with a 65. That's a pitcher 14, and that ball is a drive to left, and that ball has gone back to back home runs by. And those are just unlucky rolls. Uh, Gibson did hit two home runs that season. That's a 65 pitcher 14. We rolled a 12, so Hennigan is just a terrible, terrible pitcher. Very high home run rate for a, a name column. So it's three to nothing. And here comes Lou Brock with a 52. That's an error check on a 10 third baseman. That's probably too high for Garrett to make an error. He's a 9. Pretty high, but mm, he makes the play because that 10 is higher than the 9. So it's a 5 3. And here is Sizemore. Ted Sizemore, a uh, good second baseman with a 14 range. Well above average. An A arm and only five errors so he was a good quality second baseman here's Phil Hennigan with the pitch to size more and that's a 15 which will be a tapper right back to the mound Hennigan picks it up over to first two away first two batters went back to back against Hennigan and here's Jose Cruz lefty hitter with a 53 that's gonna be a range play to who the third baseman and Garrett he makes a great backhand grab and throws to Milner and that retires the side so great play by Garrett on that range play all right Gibson going for the complete game he had 13 complete games in 25 attempts that's more than half so he'll go for a complete game here and he's still doing good um, only he's given up two hits so I'm not gonna pull him right now here's John Milner let's see if the Mets can get a little rally going and a 62 is not going to do it. Milner's going to swing at a high fastball and strike out. Here's Rusty Stop with a 46. Oh, a 46 and a 2. A lefty in Cardinal Stadium. And that ball is a drive to right and gone. Home run, 3-1. to one. Rusty Stop. he hit uh, 15 home runs that season. Hits his first home run of the season here. Here's Cleon Jones with a 32, and that will be lined and caught by the uh, righty uh, two. What is that? Uh, 20 and a two goes to a righty. Hits it to third, so ripped to down the line, and Reitz comes up with it for the second out. So Gibson, the Mets down to the last out. Gibson one out away from victory. Here's Wayne Garrett. And oh, an 11 will be a base on balls. So the Mets are still alive with the tying run at the plate. Childs is not hitting. He sucks. Do we have a lefty Boswell? Boswell has a little bit of power. Let's call on Boswell to pinch hit. So 
So I, when I choose pinch hitters, I pick from basically uh, the side, the opposite side, right, to get the splits effect. And I also um, look at the at bats. I try to pick the, the guys with the most at bats, but n not always. It, it depends. But uh, I usually avoid guys that are almost at their max type thing too, so they so it evens out. Here's Kenny Boswell. We found him, and he will bat for Childs. And uh, Gibson is ready. Looks over at Garrett. Now let's look at Gibson here. Gibson has pitched 33 batters face, but he can go 36 pitch, and it's a 64, and that'll do it. It's bounced to the first baseman, Torrey, and he steps on the bag, and the game is over. So Seaver 0-2 to start the season. Seaver in uh, was 19 and 10, so he had a bunch of losses, but he pitched an excellent game. Um, only allowed one run and a couple of hits. Um, but unfortunately, my the franchise loses his second game. Let's look at the box score. Um, really, the Mets only uh, managed three hits against Gibson. Gibson was outstanding with seven strikeouts, four walks. He pitched a three-hitter, allowing that one run, the home run by Staub in the ninth. And... Uh, and that's about it guys so let me post this output and then I know where it goes let's see let's find it there it is this game was played at 234 morning going to select all and copy and we're gonna move on we're gonna post it where are we gonna post it Let's see if we can find where to post it. Uh, no, let's post it there. All right, guys, take care. Remember to like and subscribe my channel. It's good to be back playing some games online. And, uh, and I will see you soon. We can probably next see we're start or who knows, maybe Kuzman. I'm working, I'm back working now, full-time job, so. I play about, I try to play one or two games a day, probably usually one, maybe on the weekends I'll play two. And uh, Gibson. A last Seaver. Replays. Boom. All right, then I'm, I'm posting it to the uh, Delphi, Delphi Forum. Fall Classic Baseball site. Take care. See you soon.